Hey guys, we are back this week with another book opening video. So I've actually already opened the box uh, because I forgot I was going to make a video for this. But I have not got any further than that yet. And the book that I've got this week is The Art of Darksiders 3. I'm going to lift that up a little bit so that the light is not reflecting. Sorry, my lighting is very strong. So I'm going to unwrap this and skip ahead with the magic of editing and then we'll take a quick look through it. Okay, so here we have the cover, The Art of Darksiders 3 and the back. And the reason I bought this book, I was actually looking at the artist Joe Mad. I was looking at some of his work, a comic book artist, and I came across this book basically that had some of his artwork from a game. I've not actually played on Darksiders, so I literally know nothing about it. Um, but I started flicking through this on Amazon and it gave me a preview of the artwork in it. And to be honest, I thought some of it just looked so cool that I caved in and I eventually just bought the book. So I thought it'd be pretty cool just to have a quick look at this on camera. And as I always say, I'm not going to show every page on camera. Just wanted to make a video that's a few minutes long to show people what's inside. So when I was looking at the previews, I saw things like this. And I really liked that it just had multiple designs and colour schemes and things like that of things. I thought that was really cool. And sorry again, by the way, my lighting really is a bit too strong up there, but hopefully you can still see. So it seems to have some pretty cool stuff in it from the get-go. It's got uh, a lot about poses, especially action poses. Obviously this is, you know, a fighting game, an action game. It's going to have some really cool poses in it. Um, I mentioned about Joe Mad. I haven't looked through this properly to know if this is just his work or if this is a selection of artists off the um, off the whole project, the whole game. Um, I should probably have looked that up before starting recording. But Joe Mad is who I was searching for that sort of led me to this book. So I am really into fantasy works and things like that. So I just find anything like this really cool. Uh, anything in armour, monsters, even just people, but in cool armour. <laughs> Weapons. Different designs like this I just think are awesome. So this is almost like a concept art book. Oh, that's what I would class it as just from looking through. I don't buy that many art of books. But yeah, if I think they look cool enough and I think I can get some inspiration and ideas from them, then I do end up buying them. So I'm guessing some of these are probably like, I don't know, maybe bosses in the game. Uh, I might get the game to play. I don't get a lot of free time to play games now. But especially when I was younger, I used to love playing games. This is cool. I do draw a lot of pinups, and as mentioned, I like fantasy, so the Darksiders 3 book seemed like a good choice because, you know, from the preview on Amazon, it looked like it had... It's maybe a female character. Some cool designs, concept artwork for her. I did see the Darksiders, or the Art of Darksiders 2 book on there as well. And that one had really good reviews, but as I say, I was liking the look of the main character on this. So I decided I'd go for this third one. Some of these characters and beasts have really sort of unique designs, really cool concepts. Uh, one of the reasons I like this guy is I think his artwork's quite unique. I think it's quite recognisable, his style. A lot of the books I buy are looking at sketches, which is my favourite kind of thing, but I don't have that much about looking into coloured work, something I'm not particularly good with. And this is really cool with it having different themes and colours for multiple designs and things like that for the same character. It's even got a little bit on icons. Probably not the kind of thing I'll use too much at the moment, but still pretty cool. Storyboarding. Specific characters. So this looks more almost like a comic as opposed to just the game design. So I guess these are the characters from the game. This is the main character, I'm assuming. Awesome designs. I think these will probably be three, 3D models as opposed to 2D drawn work on these pages. They look awesome either way. Anyway, anyway guys, I've skipped through quite a lot of the book here and shown quite a lot. So I am going to leave it at that. And as mentioned, there you go, there's an Art of Darksiders 1 and 2 book as well. The first one didn't have great reviews on Amazon, but yeah, I went with the third one. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Hopefully, if you were looking for a quick preview of this book before buying it, this video might have helped you. Let me know what other books you guys want to see or what other kind of videos you guys want to watch. And as always, be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, everyone.